welcome back to Toy Photographer. My name is Patrick, and today we're going behind the scenes of From Pop to Photo of Obi-Wan Kenobi and his Delta 7 Jedi Starfighter, number 641, which is an Amazon exclusive and part of their Hyperspace Hero series. So what we wanted to do is create something very unique for this. Um, I'm actually utilizing this image for my challenge for the Toy Photographers Collective. So please, if you see it, give it a like, give it a vote, It'd be pretty cool. Anyway, what we want to do is create something really cool with this image and really tie it all in together. So we want to have them in space, but I want to kind of do something that was a little more fitting. So we had this really nice background that we got from Adobe Stock. Then I also threw in the hyperspace ring. So that is what the Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Jedi Starfighters would lock into so they can go to hyperspace. So I want to add this to give a little more oomph and a little more callback. So if you see a piece of that in the image and you know what it is, you kind of know you know. So without further ado, let's get into the actual lighting of this. So what we started to do, we would use our five light loom cube setup. And I started with my main light here, some diffusion coming across. It's really carving out a lot of these nice lines and detail, as well as uh, lighting the front of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The second light I have, uh, again with the diffuser, my hair light, Coming from the top, it's giving a lot of that nice highlight we see here, as well as you can see, it's really kind of nicely filling and lighting the top of the Starfighter itself. The third light um, is a Loom Cube with some warming and yellow gels to create that kind of orangey or yellow glow, because um, as the perspective that we shot this from, we're getting this really nice burst of light coming out from behind Obi-Wan and the Starfighter. So having this with some barn doors coming across really helps to sell that situational lighting. It really looks great on that image. So for our fourth, um, we wrapped this little, I love these tripods with the, with the bendable legs. So through this little light thing, get a little higher um, and add a little fill. Um, it's got some diffusion of barn door on that so you can control the lighting and what it's hitting. Then the fifth and final loom cube, we added here diffusion and on the snoot. And that's coming across, really trying to get a lot of the detail here in Obi-Wan's beard as well as just a little more light in his face just to give a little more pop. It also hits his uh, armor and stuff like that uh, while he's in his Starfighter. So after this piece, what we did is we brought the image into Photoshop. We stripped everything out. We got rid of any of the base or any of that kind of stuff that we might've seen in the image. We stripped that out. Then we played with some image saturation levels, um, vibrance, and did a little bit of retouching. We uh, added another layer kind of like we did if you saw the ray on their speeder. We added another layer of the subject and kind of separated that, copied another layer, gave it some motion blur. So that's where you get that kind of motion blur in the image um, from the back there as, as the starfighter is moving towards us. So again, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like, definitely hit that subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another episode of Toy Photographer. Until then, may the force be with you.